This episode of Social Knows Best is brought to you by Carbonite. Hey, what's up, guys? Social Knows Best here. Google has refreshed their Nexus lineup of devices. They got a new cell phone coming out, a new tablet coming out, and also, too, they refreshed a very popular Nexus 7. I'm about to give you all the details about these new devices right now. I'm going to start with the Google Nexus 4, which is a new cell phone coming from Google. And this cell phone is going to be bringing Android 4.2 Jelly Bean, which brings a lot of cool features to it. Now it has this ability to do wireless TV display. It has a gesture typing keyboard. You can actually use gestures to input all the information that you wanted to. You now have multiple users on a tablet, plus you can use widgets on the home screen. So those are some of the new features coming with Android 4.2. Of course, I have a more detailed review of that once it finally launches. Now, as far as the phone itself is what's going on the inside, it has a Qualcomm Snapdragon SM Pro processor, two gigabytes of RAM, NFC capabilities, Bluetooth, a 2100 milliamp battery. It also too does have wireless charging capabilities and it will be launching with a wireless charging orb that you'll be able to buy from Google, which is something very similar to the Touchstone dock that you usually found with the Palm Pre devices, where you'll be able to sit the phone right down this dock without having to plug any cables into it and it'll go ahead and start charging. And third party manufacturers will also be releasing their own wireless charging solutions for this phone as well. And this phone will be coming with a 4.7 inch Gorilla Glass 2 display with a resolution of 1280 by 768 and it has 320 PPI which is very close to the 326 PPI that is found in the iPhone's Retina display. Now, as far as the design of this new phone, the front of the Nexus looks a lot like the previous Nexus device, but on the back, you'll find a new glass design with this new holographic type of image on the back, which looks <laughs> like it, it kind of reflects sunlight a little bit. So that should be pretty interesting to see how that looks, but uh, the overall design looks pretty cool. And also, too, the display actually curves over the edges of the device, and Google said this is to help with uh, swiping from the left or the right side of the screen itself. So that, that's an actual nice little touch and effect to the design. And this phone will have a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera and an 8 megapixel rear facing camera. And this is going to be the new photo sphere camera, which will allow you to take 360 degree panoramic images. So not only will you be able to go left and right, you'll now be able to go up and down and diagonal and be able to see uh, a picture and actually make you feel like you're actually there looking at whatever you're looking at in the picture. So that, that should be pretty cool. Now, one thing that is missing from this phone is LTE support. You can only do HSPA Plus on this. Now, Google reasoning behind this because that they had a lot of trouble trying to make this a true world phone that anybody can use no matter where you are on the planet. And LTE was just kind of a, a bag of hurt for them to use that term. So if you are really big into LTE, definitely going to want to look at another phone. But well, one really good thing about this phone is the price point. You can get this thing totally unlocked for $299 for an 8 gigabyte version. And a 16 gigabyte version is going to run you $349. And T-Mobile will be selling this phone on a two-year contract for $199 for the 8 gigabyte version. So you'll be able to pick up the Google Nexus 4 starting on November the 13th. Now Google has also announced another big device coming out on that same date. This is the Google Nexus 10. This is going to be a 10 inch tablet really aimed at that iPad marketplace. So this is going to be featuring a 10 inch screen with a resolution of 2560 by 1600 and 300 PPI. So it's going to be very close to the Retina display that's on the iPad third and fourth generation. It's going to be coming with a dual core A15 CPU and also we'll be having a 5 megapixel rear facing camera and also to a 1.9 megapixel front facing camera, two gigabytes of RAM, either 16 or 32 gigabytes worth of storage. I have a micro USB port, a micro HDMI port, and also Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and NFC capabilities. Now, one thing that is missing from this tablet, it doesn't have any type of 3G or LTE options at all. This is strictly a Wi-Fi only tablet. And this tablet will also be shipping with Android 4.2, just like the Google Nexus 4. And the price point is really good. The 16 gigabyte version is going to start at $399. And if you want a 32 gigabyte version, it's going to cost you $499. And lastly, Google announced a couple of changes to the Google Nexus 7 tablet. The 16 gigabyte version is receiving a price cut. It used to be $249. Now it's only going to run you $199. And they're going to be replacing that $249 version with a new 32 gigabyte version. And now for $50 more, you can get a 32 gigabyte Nexus 7 that also has cellular capabilities with HSPA+. That's going to to run you $299. And so that's all the new updates to the Nexus lineup coming from Google. And I think it's a very solid update. I like that they dropped the price of the Nexus 7 tablet, really not to compete with the iPad mini, but really compete with the Amazon Kindle Fire. So that, that's a really good deal. And I always consider the Nexus 7 to be the best Android tablet on the market right now. We're definitely going to wait to see what this Nexus 10 can do about that. Uh, but also, too, I'm really excited about the Nexus 4, a very good cell phone that's going to be unlocked. Very good price point. It is missing LTE, but I don't think that's going to be a big deal breaker for a lot of people out there. And I'm really interested to see what the new things are in Android 4.2. So anyway, guys, this about wraps up this video. But before we head out, here's going to take one. Let's look at our sponsor for this video. 
And today's sponsor is Carbonite. Now, more than likely, every single one of us has lost some data somehow on our computer, whether a hard drive probably crashed, or you accidentally dropped your computer and broke it, or someone may have stolen it, burned it up in the fire, who knows? But a lot of times you lose this information, but Carbonite is a very easy and simple backup solution. It's automatic and it's in the cloud, so you don't have to worry about any hardware, anything like that. And they have some iPad and iPhone applications that you can use to actually access all of your files and your information on the go on those different devices. So Carbonite is the better backup plan for your home office or your small business and so if you're interested in trying out carbonite you can try it absolutely free by going to carbonite.com and use the offer code soldier and if you do decide to go ahead and buy carbonite after you do the trial you can get two bonus months just because you use that offer code soldier again it's carbonite.com and the offer code is soldier all right guys again thanks for watching this video please leave a comment down below what you think about all these new updates what is your favorite update or what is your favorite device that i talked about today and thanks for watching guys and i will catch you later peace